what is up my ghostwriters and my Arlie's angels it's exploring early tonight guys i'm in almonte ontario canada i'm in what's called the mill of kintail it was built around 1830 i think uh, by a scottish immigrant called john baird and uh yeah he didn't have no descendants and it was bought in uh, i think the 30s by a gentleman that grew up in the region, uh, John uh, Robert Tate McKenzie. Yeah, uh, physician, sculptor, painter, uh, one of our pioneers. So he bought the place, renovated it. Uh, this, the guardhouse, he made it as a summer home and the um, mill down, he made it a studio. And uh, yeah. My friend Elliot invited me to investigate this place and uh, graciously accepted. Thank you, Elliot, again. And uh, yeah, here's the history of this place. The main building on the property now known as the Mill of Quintel was constructed sometimes in the early 1830s by John Baird. The recently arrived immigrant from Scotland was quickly making a name for himself and soon has a grist mill, a general store, now the Kate House, and a homestead in the small settlement of Beanie's Corner. His family joined, soon joined him in Canada and live on the present site for years. However, John Baird's children never had any descendants of their own and the family line was abruptly ended in the 1900s when the, with the death of the last daughter. The mill was already abandoned by then. John Baird has lost the property during a long legal battle with some of his neighbors in the early 1860s. By many accounts, John Baird was a very unpopular early resident of Baines Corner, and people weren't upset as his property quickly fell into despair and he died soon after. In the 1930s, Robert Tate McKenzie, an accomplished physician, sculptor, and educator, returned to his hometown of Almonte for a celebration. While there, he was persuaded to purchase the old mill in the former settlement of Benny's Corner. McKenzie was familiar with the abandoned property, as the site was once a favorite makeshift playground for himself and his childhood friend, James Neesmith, you know, the inventor of basketball. The setting was perf a perfect place for his studio and the summer retirement home for Tate and his wife, Hethel. In 1938, Robert Tate McKenzie died suddenly. Hethel eventually sold the property to Major James Lace in 1952. He and his wife tended to the property and found in the R. Tate McKenzie Memorial, Memorial Museum, sorry, Eventually, the mill passed into the hands of the Mississippi Valley Conservation Authority in the early 1970s, and they've maintained the site as a museum ever since. So, let's go and investigate this place. All right, Jeff, welcome to the Mill of Kintail. So right now, you are at the Gatehouse, built in the early 1830s by John Baird. John Baird came here from Scotland to start this milling enterprise. He was only here until about the 1860s, so he lost this entire property in a legal battle. Now his sisters lived next door and he lived next door and his sisters died out here and they're buried somewhere on the property. And those sisters are said to be here at the gatehouse along with John Baird who is very unfriendly and unwelcoming. Most people experience a heavy sensation that he doesn't want them there. This was his general store. His employees stayed upstairs. And as well upstairs, a disgruntled employee is experienced. A lot of activity here, more so some say than the Mill of Kintail, which has 130 years of spiritualism attached to it, which we'll get into, but right now you're at the gatehouse. The basement is a good spot. Children are experienced down there. Who they are, we don't know. The biggest thing that happened here was a table levitated and rotated for a few investigators. Spirit Box worked us very well here. You also get some good EVPs. For me personally, I'm very uncomfortable being alone in this building. So, you're alone in this building tonight. And I'll be in the building next door. And if you need me, just scream. No problem. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. No, I just cued my... Thank you. <laughs> cued my camera and uh, K. 
cad ball went off. Thank you. Wow. Right off the bat. So right here you have a device, it's called a music box. If you touch it, if you go near it, you will hear some music. You have another device here you can shake. Yeah. There you go. So guys, we'll start here. Uh, it is believed that um, our former Prime Minister, Mr. Mackenzie King, stayed here so and he was a big spiritualist so yeah so i'll put the ramp pod right here in the middle of the room i'll that's my phone that's not my phone, because now I'm on airplane mode. Can you move away, please? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, we'll put a device down. You, will, you, you can use it to say words and to talk. My name is Jeff. Actually, it's Jean-Francois. I'm, yeah, I'm French. <laughs> But I'm here to try to communicate with you and try to see if you, if I can know you better. So, hello. If that camera catches me, I'm just gonna go and check. No. So we'll go just angle this one down a bit. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> so, once again, my name is Jeff. <clears throat> you can use the box right here. It's called, it's a cell phone, but... Thank you. I have a light here. It's called a flashlight. Or torch and you can use it light it up or close it thank you so I'm gonna move that camera right here and in a better angle Oh, stay and talk. Yes, I will stay and talk. That's what I want to do. I want to talk to you. Like I said, my name is Jeff or Jean-Francois. You have a device right here. I think you already touched it. I have another, another device here. It's called a flashlight. If you go near it, if you go and touch it, it will light up. Thank you. Wow. Can you come and open up the flashlight for me, please? Just put your energy in it. Or touch it. It's gonna light up. Stone. Stone. That's weird because <laughs> there's some grinding stones all over the place. There's a grinding stone right here. The house is made of stone. Am I talking to John Baird? Or more, am I talking with that upset employee? You can use this device to tell me your name. Pregnant. 
Oh, okay. Who was pregnant? Are you talking about the lady? The pregnant lady that was downstairs at the table when you met, had that, that table move? Are you talking about that lady? That pregnant lady? Or are you talking about another lady that was pregnant? Mr. Baird, I know that unfortunately you didn't have any descendants because your daughters didn't have any children. I'm sorry, sir. But you know, if you come and, you know, vision. vision, yes, if you want to show yourself, yeah, go ahead. I would love to see you. You're around me, right? I can feel you. I have goosebumps. I don't know if you can see this, guys. I'm goosing up. Probably you want to talk more. I have a device here that you could use and talk into it. If I can't find a switch, <laughs> I can be such an idiot sometimes. This one? There you go. So I have a device here that I will put right here on the ground and you can talk into it, okay? So. We make the noises. What noises? Can you make those noises again, please? Can you tell me your name into this box, please? Okay, I'm going to check. Thank you. For, oh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, if you put all your energy into it, it's going to stay open. How oh. come? Sad. You're sad? How come you're sad? wrong sorry guys I'm just trying to figure out what's wrong with my recorder Thank you for the flashlight. 
If you put all your energy in it, it's gonna stay open. Ancient curse haunts. Ancient curse haunts. Whose curse? Can you tell me whose curse it is? Can you? I'm gonna use this for a moment, okay? Oh, it's cold. I'm gonna use this for a moment because I wanna try, I'm gonna check out something, okay? There you go. Thank, thank you. Are you? Are you um, <clears throat> curious what I have in my hands? It's called a, a recorder. And now I'm just trying to... Look, I'm here. Where? Please appear for me. That's what I want. Thank you. <laughs> Christy. Christy. Who's Christy? Can you tell me? Who's Christy? Your name. My name? My name is Jeff. Actually, it's Jean-Francois. Poltergeist. Poltergeist? If you want to move things, go ahead. I'm going to put back the flashlight. Whoa, sorry. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna check. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna listen. Hello, Lucy. Can you go to that box that I just put down, Lucy? No, that's not the. That's not the right recording. That's another. Yeah. Thank you. Who's here? <laughs> I'm not pushing anything. I'm just trying to communicate. Thank you for the flashlight. Electric, yes. That's an electric torch, yes. Right there, I don't be. I don't hear anything. So. Listen.
The children sing. Uh, I am hearing cracking. Thank you. Can you close it? Can you turn off the flashlight? Just take your energy out of it. Oh. Thank you. Can you knock, please? I hear you on the top of the stairs. I've put a box right there. Can you go and touch it? It's gonna make some music. Yeah, not this one. Over there. I've put a box. If you go near it's gonna make some music. Yes, yes, I believe, but I want, I want to reassure myself there's a life after death. I want to know if when I'm going to pass away, I'm going to be able to commu still communicate with my loved ones. That's a fly. <laughs> there's a fly around. Can you turn off the flashlight, please? Or the electric torch, can you turn it off? Just take your energy out of it, please. That would be much appreciated. David. Hello, David. David. Are you related to the Baird family, David? Or probably Mackenzie. Or were you the employee of the store, David? Were you the employee that Mr. Baird was really mean to? Can you turn off the flashlight if it's the, the case? The torch right here, can you turn it off if it's the case? If you are the... Zachary? Zachary. That's my son's name. Is that your name too? If, if it's that, if, if it's your name, it's a beautiful name. My son's name is, is Zachary. There's a fly, guys. If you hear buzzing, it's a fly. Oh, sorry. It's not paranormal, it's a fly. I think you like the flashlight. You've been keeping it on for a while. I would be muchly, I would be impressed if you can turn it off. Just take all your energy out of it. Or you can go again and touch that red light. Or I've put devices on the hallway over there. Are we friends? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Oh, we'd love to be friends with you. If you want to be my friend. <laughs> I don't know. There you go. Can you turn it back on, please? It's okay. I, I just want to try to... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
that wasn't a lie. Just hope that my mic picked that up. I heard a lady's voice. There's a lady that keeps talking. Can you talk again, please? What the heck was that? Agree. <laughs> you agree? Yeah, what the heck was that? What's that? Hmm. What's that beep? I heard a beep. That door was it open? Yeah, I think so. That's still rolling. That's on. I heard a beep. Like my Holly. Holly. What's Holly? <clears throat> Holy place? Are you saying that you're, you qualify your, your store as a holy place? Thank you for the flashlight. Can you go for that red light? Oh, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Can you go for the red light right there? Please. Thank you for the flashlight. It's really appreciated. Can you go for the music box in the, the hallway over there? It's gonna play music, a really beautiful song. My bones. My bones. Are we talking to, am I talking to the sisters? To the sisters that are believed to be buried on the ground. That's the camera because of my... My light. Twins. Were the sisters twins? I just want to understand. Did Mr. Baird's sisters were twins? I don't know. I just want to understand, like I told you. but it's not like you know it's not that crazy I'm gonna try out something because this camera I'm gonna put it right here I'm gonna turn this off so you're gonna lose me on this camera, but you get me on this camera. So, and I'm just gonna check if the IR light is open. No, it's not. 
There it is. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That was kind of a good response. So you get rather. I was in the military. Oh, I was, I was as well. I'm a veteran too. I was in the logistics corps. Military, Mr. McKenzie. I know that you served with the, the medical corps. Am I talking to Mr. McKenzie? Or the other owner, what was his name? It was a colonel. Am I talking to the colonel? The one that bought the house or the major? There are demons. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't start on that. Do you think that I'm a demon? Because of the way I'm, I'm dressed and the, the devices I use? Is that what you mean? Can you turn off the flashlight if, you, if it's that what you mean? Or touch the red light? Poltergeist. Again. Second time. Yeah, go ahead. Move something. Can you close the door? Or push something off the shelf? A pact. A pact. What kind of pact? Can you tell me? What kind of pact do you want? I'm not really the kind of guy who's going to do a pact. You seem to be liking to have that electric torch open. Can you try and turn it off, please? Please, just turn it off, please. Do you want a countdown? On three? On three? Two? One? Go! <laughs> I would have really doubted. And my camera just shut off and I got, <laughs> I have 6% battery. You're sh shiting me, right? Oh my God. Okay. Well, I think you want me to go and grab uh, Another battery, I think. So, battery change. And we're back. Change the battery. No. We're back. So, I'm gonna turn back on my light. And I brought something else. I brought my pendulum. So, if you want to communicate, you can use the pendulum. So, 
guys. That's me. That's me. That's me. There you go. So. Darn. Should have told me that you didn't want my camera. My throat. What about your throat? Did you got strangled? There you go. Did you got strangled? That's me. Or do you have an illness? Show. Show? You gonna show me something? Okay. So, can you show me yes, please? Something waits. Something waits? Yeah, that's a faint yes, but that's yes. Thank you. All right. That's a clear yes. Thank you. Okay. Can you stop it, please? Thank you. Can you show me no now? Show me no. Why are you pulling to maybe? Can you show me no, please? Get swing for the no. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna recenter. Why is it pulling? Once again, can you show me no, please? Abandon. Yeah, the mill was abandoned for a while. And that's a faint no, but I'll take that. That's good. So. Am I talking to John Baird? Can you answer with the pendulum, please? Am I talking to John Baird? Don't worry, Mr. Baird. No, nothing. Hmm. I had a guess. Okay. I thought the change the chain was Anna. 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 Are you the employee that people say that 
the angry employee. Is that you? Oh. Oh. Can you show me on the pendulum, please? I'm talking to Anna. Unknown? Hmm. What do you mean by unknown? That's my stomach. Can you stop the pendulum, please? Stop it. Stop. Thank you. So, with a clear yes or a clear no, am I talking to Anna? Go into eternity. Not now. Again. Is it the camera that does that? Anna, were you one of the workers of this store? Did you work here in the store? Yes. Hmm. Are you the employee that was a little bit mistreated by Mr. Baird? Helen. No. So was it Helen that was... Yes. Oh, I know. Again. What do you mean by unknown? Yes. So now, am I communicating with Ellen? Am I communicating with Ellen now? Always unknown, unknown. Incident. Incident. What kind of incident? What do you mean by incident? What do you mean by incident? Pass away because of an accident? Hmm. That's weird. 
I was getting unknown on the pendulum. That's really weird. I know. I know. <laughs> so can you answer with that box? Why were you giving me unknown as an answer? When I was trying to know if it was Ellen or Anna, it was the, the employee that was mistreated by Mr. Baird. I just want to know. Black hair? Black hair. Who had black hair? Anna? Or Ellen? Floating. Floating. Oh, sorry. Oh, boy. Floating. Hmm. It's weirder and weirder. Okay, I'm gonna try to record you again, okay? Here's the device. There you go. Just talk into that box, please. Can you tell me your name? Were you an employee of the store? Are you related to the seances that Mackenzie King and others sorry, were doing here? What is your relation? He will touch you. What, it, we, what is your relation with this house? Are you John Baird? Just talk into that box, please. Can you tell me your name? Were you an employee of the store? Are you related to the seances that Mackenzie King and others sorry, were doing here? What is your relation? He will touch you. What, it, we, what is your relation with this house? Are you John Baird? Nothing. Nothing.
Well, if you don't give me anything, I'm going to carry on. Uh, 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 prove. Prove. Oh, it's love to prove your existence, but beside a couple of rampart hits, you didn't you barely uh, answered with the pendulum. Uh, I think I'm going to move on. Okay. Thank you for your time. It's much appreciated. And um, I'll see you around the house. Okay. So I'm gonna move locations. Let's go. So change locations. Now I'm in what can I call it a conference room? And this table have been said to move. So I've put, you see, if the table moves, you're gonna see the geophone. Starting music box. And uh, the ramp pod is over there on the kind of chair looking throne. Throne looking chair, more. <laughs> so, and the flashlight. There you go. There you go. Put it right here. Right beside me. Oh. There you go. So that was me. So, I heard that this table can move. Can you make it move again, please? I would love to see that. Well, I'm going to introduce myself first. My name is Jeff or Jean-Francois. And I'm here to talk to you, communicate with you. Spirit Talker wasn't on. <laughs> so now with Spirit Talker is on. You have a box right here you can use to put words in it. You have a device on the big white chair or throne over there. If you go near it, it's going to make sounds and lights. And you have two little balls on the... Ridicule. <laughs> yeah, right. What do you find ridicule? The experience? men that I'm doing right now? Thank you for the flashlight. Ugh. Thank you for the ramp pod. Can you come and touch that box over there, right there on the middle, in the middle of the table? And I think music box went off because That's me. There you go. So probably music. Box went off a couple of times. Thank you. Can you come and touch that box again, please? That's the fridge. That's the fridge. I'm right beside the little kitchen, so that's the fridge. I think we're gonna wait for the fridge to stop. <laughs> or if you want to come and touch the device while the fridge is going, feel free. 
Can you come and touch the box over the, on the table again so it make, makes music? Thank you for the flashlight. She scares me. Who scares you? One of the sisters? Is it one of the sisters that are rumored to be buried on the... Dominic. Dominic. Who's Dominic? Can you tell me who's Dominic? I'm gonna wait for the fridge to stop and probably try to catch one or two EVPs. I know I'm asking a lot by making the table move, but you did it once. Can you do it again, please? I would really love to see that. Thank you for the flashlight. Could you try and touch one other, uh, another device, please? Any device. Can you at least make the table vibrate or something? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for the flashlight. You seem to be liking that electric torch. Can you put more energy into it? I was a witch. Oh. Oh. The flashlight turns on. Are you one of the one of John Baird's sisters? Oh, flashlight turn on right on command. That could be me. That's me. Well, okay, that's that's me. Debunk. Okay. You see that box makes beautiful music. Can you come and? Touch it again, please. Thank you for the flashlight. But can you go for that box? Oh, hey guys. I'm really sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> it's kind of like a four out, whoa. Okay. Can you light it up and keep it open, please? Witness. Witness. I would love to witness the table move, yes. I would love it. Thank you for the flashlight. I'm witness I'm witnessing that, that's for sure. Can you do a knock somewhere, please, or walk? Sorry for the fridge, guys. It's going to stop probably pretty soon. Thank you. You seem to be liking that light. It's not the table vibrating because the music box is not going off and the geophone or DJI is not spiking. Thank you. Whoa. That's me. 
me, that's me. That's me. I know you. You know me? Thank you for the ramp on. And you said that you know you know me. Can you tell me my name? That's me. 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 Oof. Right in the eye. Oh, shite. Right in the eye. There you go. Now put the light back. There you go. So, you've touched that REM pod a couple of times. The rumors are false. What rumors? About this place being haunted? Well, I'm pretty sure he, if it's not really haunted, it's at least a bit. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Are there rumors about Mr. Baird being a bad man? Is that what you mean? This is great. This is great. <laughs> Thank you. It would be much more exciting if you would make the music bot play or have the flashlight turn on or move the table. <laughs> I'm, a I'm asking for a miracle. I don't know. There you go. Fridge just stopped. So now that the fridge has stopped, I'm going to try to catch you talking. So just come and talk into the box. Just tell me your name into that box, please. Whisper. What? What dolls? Can you tell me? Are they dolls in the museum where the mill is? Flashlight. Just come and talk into the box. Just tell me your name into that box, please. Dolls Whisper. What? What dolls? Can you tell me? Are they dolls in the museum where the mail is? A man here. Oh. I'm gonna hear that. What's his name? Can you tell me? Can he tell me his name? 
Or are you talking about me? Thank you. Wow. That was quick. Can you go for the red light on the throne looking chair over there? Again? Or the music box on the table? Thank you. I'm trying. It's not that I'm not trying, guys. I'm trying, but I don't know. It's just they don't want to talk. I and like I always said, it's they're not circus animals. <laughs> Guess where I am? I would guess in the kitchen. Am I right? Right in front of me. <laughs> oh, the flashlight turns on. Does it mean I'm right? You're in the kitchen? Can you come and touch the red light on the throne to tell me that I'm right? If I'm? Are you in the kitchen? Or at least where the fridge and the everything else is? Everything else is? Sorry. <laughs> Six. And it's not warm here. It's kind of chilly. That was me. Was it? No, that was me. That was me. Oh. Well, okay then. If if you don't want to talk here, I'm going to move again. Can you tell me where do you want me to go? Or where would you want me to go? Talk. Talk. Yes, I would like to talk to you. But I would like for you to give me a little bit more. Is that you knocking? Can you knock again, please? Ron. Ron? Ron. Not Ron, like Ron, Ron. The name Ron. Do you have a message for Ron? Or am I talking to Ron? Well, okay, <laughs> you don't want to talk, it's okay. It's, it's really, it's really comprehensive. I understand completely and I'll try to move elsewhere, okay? Listen for my voice. Well, okay, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna listen. Stomach. 
don't know if you're trying to talk, but I'm sorry I cannot hear you. Do you want to talk in the box right here? I'm going to put it, put it up again, okay? There you go. Can come right here and talk into that box. Can you tell me your name? Movement. Yes, please. Can you move something? There you go. You can come right here and talk into that box. Can you tell me your name? Movement. Yes, please. Can you move something? There's five of us. There's five of you. Can one of them go and touch the red light on the throne? Don't be shy. Everything is harmless. You've probably Brown. seen... You've probably seen them before. Brown. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go that's me. I'm gonna go downstairs in the basement. You wanna come in the basement? Well okay then. Well, I've always said it, they're not circus animals. I cannot force them, I cannot do anything. It's them that decide when they want to communicate. And it's freezing here. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna switch cameras. I'm gonna go with my IR camera and it's flashing so the battery is dying. So I'm gonna change the battery on this one and I'm gonna go uh, full IR in the basement. All right, so see you guys. Okay, so now I'm going in the basement and I'm gonna be using those two cameras. So I'll go full IR. So let's go to the basement, right? Oh. Okay, that's been good. <laughs> there we go. So. Do you remember, can you push that camera, the live camera, a little bit down? Yeah, I'm gonna push it down. There we go. The, 
bit more. It's good? Yeah. All right. So. All we can see is sitting down. Yeah. So I'll be sitting right here. I'm going to put the music box right here. There we go. Now I'll put a ramp pod right here. There we go. Where the cat ball? There. Just throw it there. So sorry if you don't see me. You'll probably see me on this one. There we go. So the ramp on oh. just don't want to break my face play with that red light thank you so like I said before my name is Jeff Thank you. Ugh, the burden just gave me the creeps. Ugh. Okay. Now, I'm going to set you right here on the chair. I'm going to put a good camera angle for you guys to see me. Sorry if I, there you go, so you can see me here, there you go, and you see me there. So I'm going to put the box again if you want to talk. I've put a box right in front of me, if you go in front of it it's going to play some music. I'm going to put the box for the words, well, right here, right here on the ground. Here we go. And I brought, yes, the torch or the flashlight. There we go. Put it right there. There you go. I'm a woman. You're a woman. Is it Ellen? Is it you, Ellen? Or Anna? I had Ellen and Anna before. So, you know, beside the glare that the, the screen of the camera is giving me, there you go, I can't see nothing. It's pitch black. One of you was playing with the red light on the ground. Can you go and touch it again, please?
or to the lady that said, I'm a woman, can you go and touch that red light? Don't be afraid, everything here is harmless. Just song, sounds and lights just to show me that you're here. <laughs> I've been following you. Thank you. And you open up the flashlight just to show that you're here. Thank you. Can you go and walk in front of that chair over there? It's gonna make some music. It's not the same music that I had. You want me to show you? Can you light one of the devices to show me that you want me to show you how it works? Any device. The flashlight or the red light? The energy is weird. It's like we're here, but... Insist. Yeah, I insist. I insist. I would really love seeing you interact with one of our devices. So yeah, unfortunately I insist. That's the furnace. Don't be afraid, my name is Jeff. I'm a veteran. Incident. Had that word before. I think it was upstairs. What do you mean my incident? Flashlight. What do you mean my incident? Did something happen? Did you fell down the stairs? I would really love to understand what do you mean by incident. It's okay if you don't want to talk. And I understand. Never saw me before. Lisa. Lisa. Hello, Lisa. You said I'm a woman. So, Lisa, if you're with me, can you go in front of the chair over there? You light up the flashlight. But can you walk in front of the chair in front of me, please? There's a box on that chair. If you go in front of it, it's going to play music. I would really love for you if you go in front of that box. You may get play some beautiful music. Sorry guys if I'm yawning. <laughs> oh, thank you for the flashlight. You seem to like th that, that torch, right? Do you like it? Turn it off if you like it. 
heard it. Thank you. <laughs> I want you to see me. I would love to see you, yes. I would love to. Especially catch you on camera. That would be awesome. I would love to see you. Or at least hear you talk or knock. you don't want to communicate it's okay I understand thank you for the flashlight oh. I didn't want to die oh I'm sorry Did you pass away of that incident that you're talking to me about? Is that what happened? You had an unfortunate accident and you passed away? It's a fridge upstairs. If you, have, if you had an accident and you passed away, I'm really, really sorry about that. But I would love to communicate with you, at least to hear your story. Well, if you don't want to communicate here, would you love to communicate at the mill? If I go at the mill? Yes? Is that a yes? To confirm that you want to communicate with me at the mill, can you turn off the flashlight? Thank you. Can you touch the red light over there? Just to confirm that you want me to go to the mill and communicate with you. That would be a good way. He's coming. Who's coming? Is it John Baird? Is it Mr. Naismith? Or Mr. King? Mr. King, is it you? Mr. Prime Minister? Mr. Mackenzie King? Is it you? No. Oh. Flashlight turned on. I would really doubt if I would be speaking with the Prime Minister, former Prime Minister of Canada. Well, if it's you, sir, I'm really honored. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm talking about the former Prime Minister of Canada and the Rampart peeps. And he came here. He came here, he slept in the room upstairs because he was really good friends with, uh, yes, Mr. McKenzie. Mr. King, he, he, oh, just say Mr. King and it flashes. Thank you. Can you help? Dude, okay. Oh my God. I, 
I'm I'm goosing up guys. Mackenzie King came here because he wanted to communicate with his late mother. And he did seances here. Flashlight turn on and flashlight's freaking. He did seances here to try to communicate. Oh my god! Thank you! The flashlight just went on. Wow! Thank you, Mr. King. If it's you, thank you so much, sir. I'm really honored if it's you. I'm really honored to be speaking with the former Prime Minister of Canada. Thank you. So, wow. I just like to talk. Oh my God! Well, I, I, I'm, I'm willing to talk to you, sir. And I, if it's really you, it's a great honor speaking with you. So you, you, you were a firm believer of the afterlife, I, I think. Well, if I understand. Guys, if it's really that, if I'm really communicating with the former Prime Minister of Canada? That's insane. That's insane. Thank you, sir. Wow, oh, flashlight. Can you go for the red light, please? Thank you. I know you love the flashlight, Mr. S Mr. King, but I know that you touched the round thing with the metal stick, the, the red light on the ground. Or can you go and take a seat over there? there there's a box on that seat, sir. If you sit on it, it's going to play music. I would be really honored, sir. Dude, oh my God. I hate, what I, I hate what I did. Oh, God. Well, what did you think that you hate? Did you did something during your mandate that you didn't like? Oh, my God. I'm saying that the flashlight turns on right on. Right. Wow. So you did something during your mandate that you didn't like. Was it involving Canada into war during second, the Second World War? We had to. Oh my God. We had to, to, to go because the Nazis were, they were bad. I just want to know if that camera, if my pheasant camera is catching that, guys, because there you go. Uh, it probably caught some aftermath of. Oh, shy. It's only the toilet flushing. That's good, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Unexplained. Yes, it is unexplained. But it would be much more unexplained if you would go and sit over there on that chair and make, make that music box go. Or there's a little ball on the ground. Sorry, sir. There's a little ball on the ground. If you go and touch it, it's gonna flash. It's gonna light up pretty colors. Blue and red. I know you like the flashlight. You like that torch. So you said you, you like to talk. I, I'm really honored if it's really you. Please, Mr. King, if it's really you, can you touch any of the other devices than the flashlight? 
Just, just to confirm that it's you, sir. There's a camera. I think it beeps when it kind of, uh, uh, I don't know how to put it. It's like, uh, after a certain time, the camera rolls and... Williams. Williams. That's my bedtime reminder, guys. I forgot to take it off. Williams. Williams. Um, looking. Who is the William? Somebody from your staff? Somebody that worked here? I know that you stayed here, Mr. King, as a guest. I'm getting small clams, but it's not like I'm getting crazy activity. It's just it's scattered. It's just little glimpses. Well, thank you for giving me what you're giving me. It's it's plenty. And the furnace goes back. Thank you for the flashlight. Well, I think I'm going to go and carry on because 1920s. 1920s. And Mackenzie King came here in the 20s. That's insane. So if it if it was really you, Mr. King, thank you so much for communicating with me. And if I may ask, it just follow us to yes to to the mill. We're gonna go and do a, a little um, some investigating for a while over there. So if you want to come with us, feel free, and uh, we'll go there and uh, investigate, all right? Is that okay with you? Can you touch a, de a device to show? Thank you. Thank you, my Uncle Man. <laughs> wow, flashlight turned on. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to take it back. There you go. Would you mind going and touch that red light just one last time? Just one last time, please. No? It's okay. Yeah. Close this off. Thank you so much for the time and the short communication giving me but I gotta move because my friend Elliot's time is really precious and I don't want to take too much of his time so hey okay, guys so I'm gonna go I'm gonna put the kettle on my pockets I'm going to bring you with me. Hello. And take the first camera. And yeah. Sorry if I... There you go. Oh, shit. That's my head. That's going to hurt. That's going to leave a mark. Uh, that's gonna leave a mark.